Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome, welcome. It is nine. Well, now it's nine forty-five on my computer, but apparently, according to YouTube, it was nine forty-five like two minutes ago. Um, welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, Wednesday, October sixth, and it is Far Cry Six time. Ooh, so I got a call earlier this morning. Um, I think at like 10 or so, and I know the game comes out tomorrow and they told me I could pick it up at 9 p.m. tonight, which was four, exactly 45 minutes ago. And I was like, what the hell? I have a busy day tomorrow, so I won't be able to really go early anyway. Uh, so why not? Went at nine o'clock, wasn't too many people there. It was really easy. Got in, got out, got home, made my setup. And here we are. Um, it's not going to be gameplay today. It's going to be an unboxing video. And I purchased the most expensive 129, the Ultimate Edition Steelbook. For 129, I know I'm probably going to get a lot of content. I was hoping there might be something in the actual case of the box. You know, I don't know. Maybe it comes with something. Probably doesn't. This might be underwhelming. So I'll get into it in a minute. But um, Far Cry is one of my top two favorite franchises. Uh, Borderlands, Far Cry is def are definitely one and two. And number three is probably Assassin's Creed. So um, I actually posted a podcast earlier. Uh, if you search for Dormammu's Bargain on Apple Music, Spotify, or even Amazon, um, it's pretty much uh, about me and video games growing up, kind of like where I got my starts, why I like what I like and talked a little bit about the Far Cry series. So I got that out of the way in about two minutes. So now let's start the unboxing. All right, so I guess I'll start with the one thing it came with. Um, came with a poster. So let me move back a little bit. And we could open this, and I'm guessing it is a poster of Giancarlo Esposito. It's... Oh, it's actually, it's actually double-sided. So, the first side definitely is, um, a man. And then the back... It's him again, but in the landscape. So that's pretty cool. Um, I don't really put posters up, so maybe I'll give this one away, but I'm sure most people have this pre-ordered, so everyone is probably going to get a poster. But, I mean, I guess if you're not getting one, just leave a comment, let me know if you want it. Maybe I'll raffle it off or something. So that is the free poster and let's get to the game so i have a ps5 and i purchased like i said the ultimate edition steelbook and boy do i have my uh ring light in a horrible place so this is it right here pretty cool i guess it's the special uh cardboard packaging it's different from uh the other guy that i saw pick up his game it had this picture on it. Oh, let me see if I can get it there. That one. And looks like this has some adhesive on it. So luckily I have my knife. And let's gently open this and hope I don't tear anything apart. Do, do, do. Too bad I don't have music or anything. Okay. All right. All right, this will get the cardboard off. We can leave that over here. Maybe, hold on. Let's see what this says. All right. Ultimate Edition includes full game, obviously. Season pass, three DLC episodes and more, plus the ultimate pack. I don't know what the ultimate pack is, but I'm sure we'll see once I get in. So... That's that. Throw that here. 
And let's check out the steelbook. So the front has a cool rooster on it. That's pretty cool. Sweet art. In the back, I wouldn't be able to tell the difference between an alligator and a crocodile. So someone could tell me which one this is, and that's pretty cool. Pretty cool right there. And like I said, it's a steel book. I don't even know if this is actually made out of metal. It could be like coated plastic for all I know, but let's open it. Oh, I have to cut a little bit more tape. All right. All right. Don't want to damage it. Here we go. And let's see what is in here. Obviously, the disc. Standard. That back. All right, what else do we have in here? Just one little piece of literature. And I can't post... Let me just cover it up so no one steals my code. Oh, you could still kind of see it. All right, let me do this a different way. I did not think, think this through. Oh, there, I could just fold it. All right, let's just fold it here. All right. Ultimate Edition Far Cry 6. Season Pass. Become the Villain. Additional content including Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon Classic Edition. That's pretty cool because Far Cry 3 was the first one I've ever played. And it looks like... I'm guessing they're going to allow you to play as the villains. Like, that is pretty damn exciting. I would love to play as Voss. I think everyone's excited if, if you could play as Voss. Like, he was probably one of the better villains. All right, so that is, yeah, that's pretty much it. To me, it was underwhelming. I thought it might have come with a bit more for $129. I don't, I don't know what I was expecting it to come with, but um, like I said, I typically don't buy Steelbook um, video games. Sometimes I'll buy a Steelbook movie, Blu-ray or 4K, but that's, that's it. That is the Far Cry 6 Ultimate Edition Steelbook. And I'm not going to play tonight. I might download, like, pop the disc in and do all the downloads tonight. But. Oh, that's good. I'll probably play sometime tomorrow afternoon. And uh, it kind of sucks. So with my setup here, I have my two 32-inch monitors with my M1 Mac Mini, and I have my Nintendo Switch dock here, so it's easy for me to like live stream my Switch games here. But my PS5 is in my living room, and I'm not gonna set up my PS5 here with these little screens, so I'll probably just live stream my setup like directly from my PS5 to uh, to YouTube. The easiest way. I won't. I don't think. I'll, oh no, I'll be able to talk because so I'll have. Um, I usually use these headphones in there, so we'll see what happens, but let me see. I didn't even check if I had any comments. I do not. It looks like I had nobody view, maybe because it's 12, 1 o'clock in the morning on the East Coast, so this was probably a terrible time to stream. Uh, but... Um, hopefully tomorrow when everybody wakes up, they'll check it out and leave some comments, but yeah. What else can I talk about? I do not know, really. Um, besides me looking forward to playing, I'll probably play this nonstop. Um, some games I could play simultaneously. Like I played Miles Morales, Spider-Man, and Spider-Man PS. Oh, well, PS4, PS5 uh, at the same time. Like when I kind of, when I got tired of one and technically I didn't get tired of them, but play one for a long time. Then I would switch to the next one. I go back and forth, but 
Um, when I have Borderlands, when I have Far Cry and Assassin's Creed, like with Valhalla, when those games drop, I pretty much don't play anything else. So um, the only game now that I was playing that I don't think I have beat is the Ghost of, and forgive me, I'm probably pronouncing this terribly, the uh, Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut. That game is amazing. I've been so busy, I haven't had a chance to play much. And now that I have Far Cry 6, that's going on the back burner. And I'll be playing this um, probably exclusively until I at least beat the main game. And then like when the DLC comes out, if there's another game, I'll, I could play both of those. But hmm. so that's pretty much it for Far Cry 6. Looking at myself in the reflection, this reminds me last night I went to see uh, Venom Let There Be Carnage. This is an aside. Um, if anyone sees this, how did you like the movie? Uh, I didn't read comic books when I was a kid, so I think that's better for me because I don't have any like past knowledge where maybe there's something in say like Spider-Man that I really liked as a kid and they don't include it in a movie and I get mad. Like I really feel like because I didn't read comic books, I can enjoy all these movies and everyone like pretty much shit on Venom 2 and Venom 1, but it seems like the general audience really likes it. I thought it was pretty funny. Like I don't know much about Venom. Like I said, I haven't read the comics, but like, who cares? It, it's still different to me anyway. Um, people want it to be rated R. Like, it could have been rated R. It would have had a few more F-bombs and you would have seen them bite people's heads off. I don't think that would have made a difference. But I digress. Um, if you haven't seen it and you're on the fence, don't listen to critics. Just go see it. It's fun. You'll laugh. Uh, you know, Tom Hardy is amazing. Great actor. The whole cast is really good, actually. <sighs> okay, I'm at 12 minutes. I did my unboxing, so I hope everyone has a great night. Um, I hope everyone gets a chance to get their copy of Far Cry 6. Far Cry 6, I don't know what's up with my accent. And um, maybe I'll hop on and try to find, see if you guys are live streaming and watch you guys play. But until then, as always... Uh, thank you if you get to watch this or any of my other videos. I hope, um, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I hope my videos are helpful. And I mean, keep liking, keep subscribing, keep hitting that notification bell. I'm above about 200 subscribers. I'd like to get to a thousand. That would be pretty cool. Initially, I wanted a thousand so I could live stream, but apparently, excuse me, a thousand so I could live stream on my iPhone and my iPad. Um, that used to be the rule, but apparently now you don't need a thousand subs because I tested it on both and for some reason it's going through. Maybe YouTube just likes me. All right. On that note, I hope everyone has a great night and I'll talk to you soon. Peace, guys.